Now let us extend the binomial theorem, the expansion of binomial theorem a plus b the whole raised to n till now we have seen that n can be any natural number. But what if n is not a natural number, n is let us say minus 1 or minus 2 or 1 upon 2 or in short n is any real number, okay, which includes a rational number also. So we have another formula a plus b the whole raised to n can be written if n is not a natural number as a raised to n plus n a raised to n minus 1 b plus n into n minus 1 upon 2 factorial a raised to n minus 2 b squared plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 so we have three terms n n minus 1 n minus 2 so we have three factorial so over here we have will have a raised to n minus 3 and b also will be raised to 3 so we have b cubed and this will go on and on and on till n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 and so on till n minus r plus 1 the whole upon r factorial then we will have a raised to n minus r b raised to r and still it can go on so it's an infinite process so let us understand this formula first first we have a raised to n we don't have any b then we have this n in the beginning n raised to n a raised to n minus 1 so the value of n decreases by 1 but the value of b increases by 1 we didn't have any b so we could assume that b raised to 0 was there now we have b raised to 1 and overall n minus 1 and 1 they minus 1 and 1 cancels out and we have n terms then we have n n minus 1 we have two terms so we have two factorial two factorial is nothing but two multiplied by one so we have two terms in the denominator as well a raised to n minus 2 the value of n further decreases by 1 so n minus 1 becomes n minus 2 while the value of b which was b raised to 1 increases by the index increases by 1 so we have b squared same way over here n n minus 1, n minus 2, we have 3 terms, so we have 3 factorial, so a raised to n minus 3, b cubed. Again, minus 3 and 3 cancels, and we have n number of terms. And in this way, we can write as many terms as it is required. Let us understand this with a concrete example. This was very abstract. Let us take an example. 1 upon a minus b. Now, 1 upon a minus b can be assumed as a minus b the whole raised to 1. So if we want to take this index in the numerator, it will become a minus b the whole raised to minus 1. So in this case, the value of a is a, the value of b is minus b because we have minus b and the value of n is minus 1 which is not a natural number. So using the formula that we have just written above, let us try to write the same over here. So let's begin again. a minus b the whole raised to minus 1. So first we had a raised to n. Let me just write this formula once again in order to understand it clearly. So we'll, I'll write the formula again. a plus b the whole raised to n in general is a raised to n plus n a raised to n minus 1 b plus n into n minus 1 upon 2 factorial a raised to n minus 2 b squared plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 the whole upon 3 factorial a raised to n minus 3 b cubed. Okay, that would be enough. 
and of course this is this goes on and on and on let us substitute so we have a plus b the whole raised to n so we have a from here a minus b the whole raised to minus 1 a minus b the whole raised to minus 1 so we have n as minus 1 so what is a raised to n a is a so a raised to minus 1 plus n the value of n is minus 1 so I'll write minus 1 a raised to n minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and I'll just write b but remember the value of b over here is negative b we have a negative b over here so I'll write minus b I'll use a different ink no plus n into n minus 1 so I have minus 1 into n minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 upon 2 factorial 2 factorial is 2 into 1 which is 2 into a raised to a is a n minus 2 so 1 minus 2 is minus 3 as you can see the first term was a raised to minus 1 second was a raised to minus 2 now we have a raised to minus 3 so it's correct b squared but the value of b over here is minus b so we'll write minus b squared this is the second this is the third term in fact same way plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 our n was minus 1 into n minus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 into n minus 2 is minus 3 the whole upon 3 factorial 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 so 3 2 is 6 so I can directly write 6 continuing a raised to n minus 3 so a raised to n is minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 into b b is our minus b cubed and so on we can continue if we wish so our a minus b the whole raised to minus 1 is equal to a raised to minus 1 as it is plus minus 1 into a raised to minus 2 minus b so minus and minus is plus 1 into anything is the same thing so a raised to minus 2 b so I can directly write as plus a raised to minus 2 p minus and minus is plus and minus b the whole square is also positive b square so we have only positive numbers so I'll start with the plus 2 and 2 cancels over here a raised to minus 3 and b minus b squared is b squared so b squared coming to the next term minus and minus is plus plus and minus is minus and minus b cube is negative so minus and minus is again plus so again we have a positive number 2 3 is 6 so everything cancels off so we are just left with a raised to minus 4 minus b cubed is minus b is in fact b cube we have taken this negative sign earlier so we can write the final step as 1 upon a minus b which was our initial question is equal to a raised to minus 1 can be rewritten as 1 upon a plus a raised to minus 2 can be written as upon a square but we have b so b, b will remain in the numerator plus b squared upon a raised to minus 3 can be written as a cubed in the denominator plus a raised to minus 4 can be written as a raised to 4 in the denominator b cubed and so on so this is the infinite expansion of 1 upon a minus b